This art looks the same, but it's actually two completely different things. The one on the left is a raster, the one on the right is a vector. You won't notice a difference until you upscale the art. Most digital art is a raster made of individual pixels. A vector is made of math. If you plan on printing your art or resizing it or zooming in on it in a video, know that a raster image gets more and more blurry the larger it is from the original size you drew it. So knowing that, make sure you draw your original big enough for whatever you plan on doing. Vector art is infinitely scalable without losing quality. Logo designs, graphic art, and modern 2D animation project files are often vectors because they need to be crisp and clear at upscaled sizes. But drawing vectors is different from drawing in a regular art program. Don't expect to be able to do a painterly art style in a vector program. You can tell if a image is a vector or a raster by its file extension. Here's a list of common ones. By the way, you can't change the file extension to turn a raster into a vector, and you can't turn a raster into a vector by resaving it in a vector program. The art has to originally be drawn as a vector to be a vector. Some programs, like Adobe Illustrator, can convert a raster to a vector, though the quality of the result is going to vary. Complicated images do not convert well. Most art programs are either designed for raster drawing only or vector drawing only, so if you want to try vector art, you'll need to find software that is made for it. When I'm doing vector art, I like to sketch ideas in a normal drawing app and then import those raster sketches to a vector program and vector on top of them. To learn how to preserve the quality of your raster art when you do resize it, see the Scribble Kibble art tip on resampling, linked below.